Hey guys, look at this. Nice flower, sweet flower, pretty, pretty flower, right? Wrong! This isn't nice, sweet, or pretty, pretty. What you're looking at is the giant hogweed plant, and it's awful. As its name implies, giant hogweed grows up to 20 feet high. 20 feet! To put that in perspective, that would be as tall as if Shaquille O'Neal was standing on top of a foot-tall stack of foot-long hot dogs on top of something that's 11 feet 11 inches. Whoa. With one touch, the plant that looks like a supersized version of Queen Anne's Lace can cause blisters, burns, and blindness. And if you're thinking, oh, whatever, that's just some burns, listen to Rick Edwards from Indiana's Department of Natural Resources breathlessly explain. A nasty plant, if you get into the sap, causes some burns, and, and uh, if, if you get it into your eyes, it can, can cause severe damage that way, too. Could be loss of eyesight. Mm was a little too calm for my taste. How can I, a member of the national media, do my duty to sensationalize this? I know. I can just restate what Rick said in a much more dramatic manner. It's a nasty plant, and if you get into the sap, it causes some burns. And if you get it into your eyes, it can cause severe damage that way, too. Could be loss of eyesight. There we go. The plant from HE Double Hockey Sticks has a clear and watery sap which contains toxins which cause phytophotodermatitis, a skin hypersensitivity to ultraviolet rays. And you get this. Oof. Authorities are warning people about the plant which is native to Central Asia and has spread quickly throughout the US. Many people like these Indiana women don't even realize giant hogweed's dangerous potential. I would probably try to go up to it and smell it. I wouldn't have thought it was poisonous at all. I would have, that wouldn't have been my first thought. I would have probably walked right through it. If you do come into contact with a plant that is recognizable by its height and clusters of white flowers, it is advised that you wash the area thoroughly and cover it from sunlight. Officials ask that those who have located giant hogweed steer clear of it and alert their local authorities so that it can be professionally removed. All right, I can't handle this anymore. To make up for what we just made you endure, here's a brief montage of a monkey buying itself some juice. There we go. We're better now.